Warm welcome to one and all gathered here. Our school caregivers desire to celebrate the National Science Day. Very big and special day. The National Science Day celebrated on February 28 to commemorate the discovery of Raman effect by normal law lead physicist Dr. C. V. Raman on this day 1928. For his discovery, Dr. C. V. Raman was awarded the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1930. To know more about it, let's hear the English speech by Diane and Rita of KNMS Class 6. I'm a master of my failures. If I never fail, then how will I ever learn? A quote from Dr. C. V. Raman. National Science Day. National Science Day celebrated in India on 28 February to mark the discovery of the Raman effect by the great Indian physicist Sir C. V. Raman. He was also awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics for his discovery of the Raman effect. The main purpose of this day is to bring the importance of science into daily life, inspire students to new projects and new experiments, and create awareness about science, technology, and scientific achievements. Each year, we have a separate team to celebrate National Science Day. Some of them are open days to highlight the need for science, distributing posters towards schools, institutions, and public venues. Key, key factor is to avoid, avoid plastic. Science is the key to our world. COVID-19, the ongoing pandemic, has highlighted the need for the scientific community to come up with solutions to save humanity. Women and science is to encourage women scientists. Educational planetarium and laboratory activities exploring life below water and life on land. Climatological factors that affect global warming. Invite students to learn more about more about nutrients. Nutrients. Understanding the planet in ways societies can be more made more sustainable. On this day, let's pledge further develop science and make our world a better place to live in. Thank you. It was really an amazing speech. A true method of learning is experiments. So now we will see the experiments by young scientists of KNMS. Present day to all, I am Radhashree of Great AG. We will now take you through the journey of National Science Day. National Science Day is celebrated to mark the discovery of Raman effect by our Indian scientist Sir C. V. Raman, who said one scientist's invention can change its world forever. Now, before we get on with our fun experiment, I would like to share what science really is in few words. Science is what we do to find out about our natural world. Natural science makes observations and experiments. Science produces accurate laws, scientific facts, and theories. Science is one of the most important channels of knowledge. It has a specific role as well as variety of functions for the benefit of our society, like creating new knowledge, improving education, and increasing the quality of our lives. Science must respond to all of the societal needs, and global challenges. And with no delay, let us learn more about science experimentally. So we all know about the three forms of states, solid, liquid, gas. But have you ever thought or learned about two forms of states combined together to make an object? That's why in this experiment, we are going to be learning about movement, a non-Newtonian fluid, which can change viscosity, basically how easily they flow under stress. When you run your fingers slowly through the oobleck mixture, you can feel the particles moving away from each other, and that's how you know it turns into a liquid. But when you apply rapid force to it, it solidifies, bends, and even shines. So for this experiment, we'll be needing a bowl, something to mix the mixture with, cornstarch, also known as corn flour, some water, and this is going to be optional. If you want to add food coloring to your oobleck mixture, you can. But if you do not have any food coloring, you can use tempo paint or leave it as it is. And if you don't want this to be messy, I would highly suggest using gloves. But let's start with our experiment. And before I'm going to start, I'm going to be wearing my gloves. Okay, so now I'm going to be starting to add my corn flour in. So the measurements for this oobleck mixture is two or one and a half cup of corn flour and one cup of water. I'm going to 
gonna be adding my cornflour in. And time for the second cup. Now I'm gonna be adding some water. Since I have food coloring, I'm gonna be adding mixing the food coloring and the water together. You want to be really careful because you don't want this to be spilled any everywhere and it's going to stain and make sure you don't add a lot. Okay, I added my food coloring. I'm gonna be mixing the food coloring and the water. I'm gonna be adding the food coloring and water mixture to the Now this is going to be really hard to mix, but I'm sure we will finally get to it. When I dip my hand instead of pink black, I can feel the particles are moving away. But when I apply rapid force to it, see there, it's solidified. Now I'm going to be making a ball out of pink black. Now you see over here, blue black is not completely solid. I'm applying rapid force to it as I keep moving. This is the perfect solid right here. But when I just leave my hands and rest it like that, it turns into a, this very thick liquid and it starts dripping out of my hand. And when I squeeze it, it turns dry and into a solid. From this, we can say the principle behind this is false. When we apply rapid force to oobleck, it turns into a solid. But when we leave it in a rest position, it turns into a liquid. Now, let's move on with our next experiment. In this experiment, we are going to be combining vinegar and baking soda together. But what is the science behind this, you may ask? Well, when you combine vinegar and baking soda first together, the hydrogen ions in the vinegar react with the sodium and bicarbonate ions in the baking soda. The result of this initial reaction is two new chemicals, carbonic acid and sodium acid. This creates the bubble and foam you see when you mix baking soda and foam together. But since I want this to be more foamy and bubbly, I'm going to be adding dish soap. So the ingredients we will be needing for this experiment is a plate, a big plate to catch the foam and the bubbles, a cup or a bowl, some vinegar, baking soda, and a spoon to mix everything up, and some dish soap. And this is optional. If you want food coloring to it, you can add food coloring. So the first thing I'm going to be adding is some, is some dish soap. I'm going to be adding this much. Now I'm going to be adding a little bit of baking soda. Now I'm going to be adding a little bit of food coloring. Now I'm going to be mixing this up. Now we're going to be doing our final step, which is adding our vinegar. I'm going to be adding our vinegar first to this little cup. Smells really nice as there's dish soap in it. Now, this is the final step. I'm going to be adding our vinegar to our solution. And now, let us do its magic. As you can see, it quickly rises up. As you can see right here, this mixture quickly fills up with carbonic, 
carbon dioxide gas. If enough vinegar is used, all of the baking soda can be made to react chemically into the vinegar solution. Nothing dangerous happens when you mix baking soda and vinegar, it's just that they neutralize each other and you use all of the beneficial aspects as a two different types of ingredients. Make sure you're not closing your mixture because there is a chance to it for it to explode. And this is what happens when you mix acid and base together as vinegar is an acid and baking soda is a basic. Now let us move on to our final project. So this experiment involves a coin. Coin and the balloon. Now let's start off by inserting the coin inside of the balloon. After you insert your coin inside the balloon, make sure you make sure to blow it up and turn it off. So the objective of this challenge is to cause the coin to move up on its end and continue to move as you spin the balloon. So here's how we're gonna do it. So make sure you're holding the balloon like this with your palm and not on the knot. Now for a few minutes, for a few seconds, and spin it. And this is where the first law of this is where the first law of movement says: if something is moving or stationary, it will stay that way unless something disturbs the system. And this is where the Newton's second part of law, the tendency of an object to stay in the motion, and in this case, the orbit of the force of gravity. And what is stopping the coin right now is gravity. If if you stop and the coin is still moving, this is how you know you're doing this experiment right. If it stops like this and it does not spin, and this is where you're doing it wrong. And the third law of motion is for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. And a great example is a man walking on the ground or any surface. While walking, a person pushes the ground in the backward direction, and in the ground and and the ground written pushes the person in the forward direction, thus making him or her move. By, and by this we can say science is everywhere. Everywhere we see science appears. Without science, there will be no development and knowledge of ourselves and our world. And a very interesting fact about science is that scientists predict there are over 3 billion pairs of DNAs in the human genes and pair and over 25,000 genes in the human genome. An entire copy of the genome exists in each of the 10 trillion, 10 trillion cells inside of a human body. All the DNA were lined up together, up, it would cover the distance between Sun and Earth 100 times. And by this interesting fact, I would like to conclude my experiment and pass you guys on to my friend Bakshina for even more science learning and experiments. Bye! I'm Raksana, the little scientist of Great AG, will take you through the wonders of science through my simple demonstration. You will all know what happens when you put an egg in a glass of plain water. Yeah, the egg will sink. The materials needed are two tall drinking glasses, two eggs, a cup of water, a cup of salt and a spoon. Here's the magic. The egg is denser than H2O, that is water. So the egg sink at first. When I took another glass of water and added the salt, the density of water increased, thus the egg started to flow. Two water in two tall drinking glasses, it should be half full. Take one tall drinking glass and take an egg and put the egg in the water and see whether it sinks or floats. See, it sinks. Take another tall drinking glass and a cup of salt and add the salt. Take a spoon and mix the salt well until the salt dissolves. Take an egg and place the egg in the water and see whether it sinks or floats. It should float. See, it is flooring. Next, to boost our fine motor skills, we will perform a color theory experiment in chemistry. What is that? Yes, the fizzy rainbow. The ingredients needed are a shallow tray, medicine droppers, baking soda, vinegar and food coloring. That's all. Let's start. Pour the vinegar into the cup. Add 
few drops of food coloring. You should add 5 to 6 drops. Now I am adding pink. Now I am adding green. See, I have added all the food coloring to the baking soda tray. Amazing, right? We can make our own rainbow at home. Let us enjoy science in our daily routine because science is everywhere. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Now we will hear the inspiring speech about science and tradition by Dictionary of the Universe Class 7. Hello friends, I'm Dikshan Yavsavani from Kamlani Ketan Montessori School. With great pleasure, 28th February is considered and celebrated as National Science Day in order of C.V. Raman's discovery of the Raman effect which got the Nobel Prize Award in 1930. Today, I'm here to prove that tradition still contains science behind. Since we don't know the stories, it doesn't become the traditions are intestine. So let's get in. India is considered to be the oldest civilization by many historians as it has variety of culture, tradition and practices. So the first thing, have you ever wondered why do we namaskar? Let me say, not only traditionally, scientifically, it said that joining the fingertips act with the pressure points in our eyes, ears and mind which helps us to remember a person for a long time and also prevents us from the transfer of germs. I know, COVID-19 has let us do this practice. And also, let's go to the second point. Indian women, especially those who are married, can be seen with a silver ring on their toe. This is not only a tradition, but all the strength goes to the interiors by a nerve connected on the toe, which gets connected to the heart, increases the blood flow. And as silver is a good conductor, it absorbs all the polar energies from the earth and gives it to the body. Next, we usually see Brahmins in temples having Shangan Tilak on their forehead. Applying Shangan Tilak on the forehead cools the body down to the Agni Chakra as the eyebrows have nerves connected to the third eye. Gets relaxed. We often go to temples. But have you ever heard about the ritual of belling the bell before entering the temple? Scientifically, it is said that it keeps all the evil forces away, clears your mind and gives better concentration on your purpose. Next is an interesting point. Apart from giving colors to hands and feet, a henna gives stress, I mean it relaxes the body and cools the body down and also prevents the nerve from getting tense during marriages, a secret we never knew. And next, we do not eat meat during particular days, which can't be controlled by our taste buds. But we have to. Our ancestors have been very smart. Even though protein, meat has proteins, it should not be intaken every day, as it even causes diseases. So, to thus stop us eating from meat every day, people are assigned to us based on gods. So, isn't it clever, right? Next, folding your legs and sitting down and eating is a common practice tradition. But this one practice helps one to be calm and the brain messages to digest the food. Next, 
next, we go to an interesting fact that blows your mind. But it's something we never know. Both the body and the earth has magnetic pull. If we sleep with heads face toward north, it causes blood pressure problems in your body as the heart needs to work hard to pump the blood. A secret we never knew. Next, this is an interesting fact. We cannot see a single woman in India without an ear piercing. This is an important tradition in India and the science behind this is that it keeps the person to get relaxed and also makes decision helping, keeps up your solving ability problems and also your speech ability problems, reduces your bad behavior and at last makes yours free from disorders. At last, I give up with an interesting fact that blows your mind off. Have you ever heard about the tradition of eating? Let me see it. First, we start up with spicy things and we end up with sweet. Starting off with spicy things is a tradition which our ancestors brought. And the secret hidden behind this is that starting up with spicy things activates the digestive juices in your body and acid in your stomach. And the sweet pulls down the digestion process. Hence, one is asked to take the sweet at last. Today, I have finished up giving interesting points and facts about this special day. Tradition are of use to us by many ways, which we have to try to follow in our daily lives to make our lifestyle and our life better. With great pleasure, T. Dikshanya signing off from here. Thank you. To know the real experience of the organic garden, here are the students of KNMS Class 6 and Class 7 to show us the organic garden. Hey, Ajay, are you planning to go out? Yes, I am planning to visit Niveta's organic garden. Niveta's organic garden, what is it? You have been trying to eat more organic foods, right? Uh, both to get uh, uh, pesticides, less food, and to protect the environment. But look at your grocery store bill. It's very expensive. Luckily, there is a way to prepare your own organic foods in your home. Organic gardening. Join with us to our friend's garden to know more about organic gardening. Hi, Niveta. Hello, everyone. I'm welcoming you to my garden. Uh, we are here to know about organic gardening. Yeah, I can clear your doubts. You can ask your doubts. How do I start a vegetable garden? You have to start your vegetable garden by having a correct amount of soil, the red soil and the cocoa peat. You have to mix it well to get a good soil. Next step is to, you have to get a good type of uh, container. You can use a vessel, a pot or a bucket. But don't forget to put a hole in the bottom for the drainage. And the next important step is, you have And 
they all were used. Menus like vermicompost and cocoa peach and also your organic wound menu using uh, dried leaf leaves, eggshell, cow dung and the things you find in your kitchen also you could use them. The major benefit of course is the conservation of water and soil, right? Not only that, we can also get chemical free vegetables. And also, it's a good hobby to all of us. Thank you, Niveta, for your details. Thank you, Nia. We enjoyed all your articles. Thank you. Niveta, can you show us a demo of how to prepare the soil for a planting? Yes. I will help you how to do a how to sow a seed. Yeah. And I will sow um, seeds like fenugreek. Um, oh, this is fenugreek. It's in yellow in color. Yes. And I also have chicken seeds. Oh, these are these are having uh, thorn like structures. And I also have papaya seeds. Yeah, the seeds are so small, right? Yes. And these fenugreek seeds have to be in water for at least half a day so oh. that it will be good when we sow. So, okay. okay. And I will help you how to sow a fenugreek seed. First, we have to take some fertilizers. Just put it in the soil what we are going to have and then mix it. After mixing you have to put some fenugreek seeds in, in top and just water it. So, can we also try planting? Oh, yeah. Can we plant the banana? Oh, yeah. You can try planting these pineapple. I kept it in water for a few days. Are these roots? Yes. See these roots? They are coming out just like this. This is the top of the pineapple, right? Yes, and uh, it's so it's in this structure for that so the pineapple can easily attract it. And you can also both try these. Yeah. I'll put some vermicompost here. Yes. Can I put some more? Yeah. It's enough. And just dig some money. Is this well is enough? Yes. And you have to water it. How much days will it take to grow? Uh, this pineapple will be taking approximately 2 years. And I have some of pineapples, 2 month pineapple. Oh, it's a little bit grown, no? Yes, and here it's 8 month pineapple. Uh, it's a little, very much bigger than this one. And uh, still... In which state will it get fruit? Uh, in the last state it will be getting fruit. And the fruits will be coming from here. And we will have that the upper top in the top of the pineapple and this will be the bottom. Oh. So it will be like a... This is my backyard. Do you have any trees here? Yes. I have a neem tree, a coconut tree, a goa tree, a banana tree and a... Um, drumstick tree and I also get some yielding like uh, like some spinach and goas. Even the hardest 
puzzles have a solution. So let's see how Sally Bernodaya of KNMS Class 6 solves science puzzles. Hi guys, so I'm here to quiz you my few interesting and contemplative reads. Let's begin. Rill number one, many have heard it, but nobody have ever seen it. Do not speak back until spoken to. What am I? Yes, the answer is an echo. Rill number two, what can eat a lot of iron without getting sick? Think, think. Yes, you got the answer correct. The answer is rust. Rill number three, what is black when you buy it, red when you use it, and grey when you throw it away? The answer is charcoal. Rill number four, I'm a, glo I'm a god, a planet, and I can measure heat. What am I? The answer is mercury. Rill number five, and black colored path. When some object come in between the way, you can see me. I'll repeat again. I'm a black colored path. When some object come in between the way of light, you can see me. Yes, absolutely correct. The answer is shadow. Rule number six. I'm an animal. I can make loud sounds. These sounds can travel hundreds of kilometers. Yes, the answer is blue whale. Drill number seven. Who is the father of science? Any guesses? Yes, your guess is right. The answer is Galileo. I'm under your face. I'm outside your mind. A biological case. Pressure brings pain sometimes. What am I? Think, think. Yes, the answer is your skull. Riddle number nine. Some people won't eat this part of pizza. But this is almost the name of the outermost layer of the rock that makes up the earth. Think when you eat a pizza. Hmm, yum. Yes, you've got the answer correct. The answer is crust. Riddle number ten. Plants use meat to perform photosynthesis and create food for themselves. What am I? It's really easy. Hope you all get it right. Yes, the answer is sun. Rule number 11. Originally, all the land on earth was connected, big called Pangaea. The earth plates have, have slowly shifted over time to form the southern dash. The answer is continents. Riddle number 12. What are the three years that keep our planet clean? Really interesting, right? And the answer is reduce, reuse and recycle. Riddle number 13. Of all the glands, I'm known as the master because I boss around the other endocrine glands and tell them what to do. But even though I'm a bit bossy, you need me for many things such as secreting hormones required for sexual development and promoting bone and muscle growth. It's quite, in, it's quite scientific, right? But you can't find it. Yes, the answer is pituitary gland. Little, riddle number 40. Which way is more? A ton of concrete or a ton of feather? They both weigh the same because they both are a ton. Last but not least, I can rush, I can be still, I can be hot, I can be cold, I can be hard, I can slip through anything. What am I? The answer is water. Thank you and hope you like these reviews. Science and everyday life should not be separated. Science gives a partial explanation of life. To add some more information on science and everyday life, here are the students of KNMS class 8. Hi, this is Avantika from class 80. Here to talk about science in everyday life, science in cooking and science in agriculture. Science in everyday life. You can say science in each and every aspect of your life. Science is an essential element. You cannot escape from the importance of science and its uses. 
Basic knowledge about science is mandatory for everyone as it makes our life easy and opens our mind in many ways. As science is completely about facts and experiment, it does not change with time and basics will always remain same. Science in cooking. There are various applications of science in cooking. First one is baking. I think all of us love eating buns, breads, cake, pastries and etc. How are these buns and bread made? They are made using yeast which is a unicellular fungus. This yeast is soaked in water with a tablespoon of sugar. When the yeast feeds on the sugar, it reproduces anaerobically and produces carbon dioxide and alcohol into the mixture. After baking, you can see pores on your breads and bre breads and buns. This is due to the carbon dioxide that the yeast produces into the mixture. Second one in your utensils. All of us mother will have utensils made up of metal, steel and aluminium because they are good conductor of heat. That is, they allow heat to pass through them and helps us to cook food. Third one is turmeric. What happens when a turmeric contained curry stain is left for washing? This is turmeric and this is soap liquid. When the soap liquid is added to the turmeric, the turmeric changes its color into red. This is because turmeric contains acid and soap liquid contains base. When the acid and base reacts, the turmeric changes its color into red. Fourth one is mere apples. When you open your lunchbox to discover that the lovely sliced apples in the morning now looks unslightly and brown. Why does this happen? This unappetizing phenomenon is called as browning of apples. When you cut the apple into pieces, the apple's tissue is exposed to oxygen. This exposure uh, triggers an enzyme called folate oxidize, which oxidizes with the apple's flesh and it reacts with the amino acids to form a brown color melamine. In order to avoid this browning of apple, you can just add a few drops of lemon juice to it. Science in Agriculture During Vedic period, early men were hunters and gatherers. During hunting and gathering, they saw a small growth from the seeds that they have thrown after eating. This is how farming was discovered. But due to the development of technology, there are many agricultural missions which made our work simpler. Some of the agricultural missionaries are tractor, field cultivator, seeders and planters, plow, baller, combine harvester and etc. So cultivator. Cultivator is a machine used for plowing which has sharp frames called teeth. They are pulled by the tractor to turn and loosen the soil. And next is seed drill. This is a machine used for planting the seeds in a continuous flows in furrows at uniform rate. This ensures that the seeds are distributed equally. Seed drill sows the seeds at accurate seeding rate and depth and ensures that the seeds are covered by soil. This ensures that the seeds are not eaten up by the animal or uh, are dried due to the exposure to the sun. Next is manure spreader. Manure spreader is also known as uh, warm honey which is a machine used to distribute the manure over the field as fertilizer. Next is sprinkler. Water, it pumps through the perpendicular pipes with a rotating nozzle. So when the water flows through the main pump, it sprays with the, it sprays with the rotating nozzle. Next is drip irrigation. Water trickles drop by drop near the plant, uh, near the plant from a network of plastic pipes which has a holes at regular interval. This uh, system ensures that the water is supplied to Water is supplied to the requirement of plant and it is not wasted. Thank you. Science is a great blessing to mankind. Science has come to remove our ignorance. It serves us in all walks of life. I am Kaushi here to walk through the journey of science and robotics and medicine. Science and robotics. Robotics will be the next world changing technology. Robotics has made a positive impact on the world in these several ways. As technology advances, building new robots for practical purposes also increases. Presently, robotics is the pinnacle of technical development. Robots are exclusively used in production lines, especially in luxury and sports cars. Nowadays, in this pandemic criterion, robotics is increasingly used in 
variety of clinical and surgical settings. Let's welcome this robotic technology to transform conventional to digital. Let's get excited about science in medicine. Our ancient wisdom of healing science is Ayurveda. We find the roots of modern medicines in these Vedas. Herbs unlocks a scientific composition to heal the diseases of the mind and body and to foster longevity. Science extends its holistic approach towards Ayurvedic remedy at home. Let's unveil about all around that aloe vera. It is widely used today in foods, cosmetics, and herbal remedies. Aloe gel keeps your skin clear and hydrated. Ingesting two tablespoons of aloe juice per day can keep your blood sugar level under control. Help of cumin seeds, cows, which also has a great medicinal values. Okay, let's all realize that science is a part of everyone's everyday life. Thus, natural scientific remedy starts from all. As a part of the science day event, here are some posters made by the students of KNMS. Come on, let's look into it. Thank you once again. 